having a look at uh, what were we doing? Electrophilic addition, absolutely, okay, so uh, you should all know the ins and the outs of um, electrophilic addition. What I want to do today uh, is we're going to try and consolidate a bit of that and we are going to also just check that we know all of the other uh, possible addition reactions of alkenes. We're not quite going to go on to polymers yet, okay. Um, so. Isn't it? So, other reactions of alkenes. First type we've not looked at yet would be hydrogenation. Um, what do you think that means if you hydrogenate something? Hydrogen. Huh? Hydrogen. Add hydrogen to it, exactly, okay? Um, now this is the kind of reaction that is actually used um, to turn alkenes. Well if we add hydrogen into it, what are we turning them back into? Alkenes. Huh? Alkenes. Alkanes, exactly. Leo, you're on fire this morning. Excellent. Okay. So if we hydrogenate an alkene, basically we're going to turn it back to an alkane. This is the kind of reaction that, uh, well, hopefully it's being done less and less now, but it was used to um, turn vegetable oils into more solid fats, okay, uh, like margarine. Fortunately for us, we've found out that actually margarine is really, really bad for you. Yeah? Because, and again, it's a good bit of chemistry knowledge, what tends to happen when we hydrogenate these um, uh, fats is that the bonds, the double bonds that are still left tend to be trans bonds rather than cis bonds. And trans fatty acids or trans fats are extremely bad for you. Okay, you've probably heard of trans fats, haven't you? Yeah? Outside of chemistry. That's where it comes from, cis and trans. Yeah? Go. Good chemistry general knowledge right there. Go on. Did I? Yeah. Oh, boo. Can you do it like I totally forgot that. Okay. Let's just do hydrogenation and then we'll do that. Thanks, Leanne, for reminding me. Terrible memory I've got. So, to do hydrogenation, here we go. Um, here's the reaction. Okay. So, we take ethene and we add hydrogen to it. What do we make? Ethane, exactly, thank you. You're doing all of my answers this morning, Leah. Thank you. Okay, we can't just make that happen. It doesn't just happen magically. Okay, um, what we need for it is a catalyst to make it happen. Okay, um, the catalyst is nickel. We need a nickel catalyst and heat. Okay, and these things, okay, these little bits of uh, like what the catalyst is. Uh, what the um, reaction conditions are are things that you're going to need to remember. Okay? <coughs> With organic chemistry, it's a bit like that. Yeah? We've got all the theory that says, okay, if we add this, then we're going to make this, but also we need to remember the conditions. Okay? So that's probably the first one that we're really worried about. So to hydrogenate an alkene, we use nickel catalyst and a bit of heat. And there you go. You turn an alkene back into an alkane. Something interesting back into something not particularly interesting. All right? Um, so what did I say I'd go back on? I can't actually completely remember. Uh, oh. It was a primary or secondary um, product, major product, that's the one. And you were going to work out which one was which? Yeah. OK. Mm -hmm. had, no. had you already done it? No, there, was one, there were two examples, but I didn't understand the second one. That's fine. Oh. I do know a lot of people did it. 
Oh. Okay. All right. We'll go through it towards the end of the lesson. Let's do another one of these. So we've got hydrogenation. We've already done um, halogenation, like bromination, I guess. Adding bromine water, okay, and that will make a dibromo uh, alkane. We've added HBr, okay, which uh, possibly will get two different products. How did we work out yesterday which one was the major product? If we've got a HBr, we've got an, uh, an unsymmetrical or asymmetrical product. See which one is more stable. So the one has the positive side at the end of it is less stable than the one with the positive. Okay, so our intermediate needs to be more stable, and it's more stable if the positive is in the middle of the molecule rather than at the end of the molecule, essentially, yeah? Um, good. So there's actually only one more reaction that's important for uh, alkenes, and that would be hydration. So... Similar words, hydration rather than hydrogenation. If we hydrate something, what do we do to it? Add water, exactly. We want to add water to it. Um, that is the one I want, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Hydration. This is a good one. So if I take the... Take this and add water. What? Ah, uh, that's a terrible double bond, isn't it? What do you think? What would be the product here? Remember, it's in a, another addition reaction, so we're only going to end up with one product. Ethanol, exactly, yeah? So on one part of the bond is going to go the hydrogen and on one part of the bond, or the other half of the bond, is going to go the OH. Excellent. You are amazing this morning. <coughs> if I do it like this. Okay, that makes ethanol. Mm. But we need another catalyst to make this happen. Okay, for a start, it needs to be done with steam rather than water. And the catalyst is this stuff H3PO4. Do you know what that is? I like the way a hydrogen phosphate does kind of make sense, doesn't it? Because it is a phosphate ion and it has got hydrogen in it but they're hydrogen ions, which kind of makes it an acid. So, what did you say, Pranesh? Phosphoric acid. Phosphoric acid, exactly, you are correct. That is uh, phosphoric acid, okay? Um, so, hopefully it's obvious from what I've written that uh, steam means that there's heat involved, so it's heat with phosphoric acid, okay? That will allow you to make an alcohol from an alkene. Okay. Mm. Okay, there is one more, kind of a bit, uh, bit left field. This one, and take this off. So what we can do also to alkenes is to oxidize them and make a diol. Diol. What does ol mean on a compound? It's so alcohol. So if it's a diol, what does that mean? 
What does die mean? Two. two. So it means, two. if it's a dia, ol, it means there's two alcohol groups on there. Okay, hopefully you've kind of worked out already. I know we've not done the topic on alcohols. We're not even slightly close to it yet. But the OH group makes it an alcohol. Okay, so if it's a diol, it's going to have two OH groups on it. All right. And that, um, yeah, bit of a funky reaction, this one. What it will make. So in our reaction equation, this is what's going to happen. This thing here, basically this is like a really big cop-out in our uh, reaction equation because what provides the, the extra oxygen atom is something quite complicated, okay, and we don't need to know all the detail behind it, okay, <coughs> the exact reaction. So all we say is our oxidizing agent is going to add in an oxygen to it, okay, and that will then give us if it's a diol, it's going to make an OH on this one and an OH on this one, plus the hydrogens here. Okay, that makes ethane one, two, diol. Okay, we need to give the numbers 1 and 2 for carbon atom number 1 and 2 and then diol to show that there's two of those groups. Okay. To make this reaction happen, to provide this extra bit of um, oxygen, we use, or we warm it with Acidified potassium manganate. Back to potassium manganate. Seven. Is that right? Yeah, potassium manganate seven, which is KMNO4. Let me move that across a bit. Oh, it's confusing. Wow. So actually that's quite a lot this morning already. Yeah, you got a question? Oh. Looks like you're about to put your hand up. Um, so we've got hydrogenation, hydration and oxidation reactions. Three more, okay? None of those three that I've added, you don't need to know the mechanism for it. Okay, you don't need to draw it like that. Yes, it probably does follow the same reaction mechanism, that same electrophilic addition, but you don't need to do anything with that. Okay, you only need to worry about reaction mechanisms uh, when... Totally distracted now. Um, someone outside the door. Anyways... Uh, yeah, you only need to worry about the reaction mechanism for uh, bromine or chlorine or a, very, or a similar halogen and HBr, okay? So, now that your brain is probably a little bit blown up by all of this, it's time to get a bit of practice in, okay? Um, let me just do that. 